Dear friends, here there is a notification from uh, Indian Air Force regarding AFCAT. So, Af Indian Air Force is inviting men and women from Indian citizens for uh, post of commissioned officers in flying and ground duty, technical and non-technical also. And uh, the applications are open from first will be open from first December, and the last date for filling up the applications is thirtieth December, twenty twenty one. So first uh, opening date is first December, and on thirtieth December they are going to get closed. Now uh, the website address is careerindianairforce.cdac.in, or you can go to afcad.cdac.in. Now this is for the common admission. This notification is for the Air Force common admission test AFCAT for one slash twenty twenty two NCC special entry. For these are the courses which are going to commence from January twenty twenty three. Okay, the exam is going to uh, uh, get commenced in twenty twenty two. Okay, now what are the branches? What are the vacancies? Or uh, what are the courses we'll see? For AFCAT entry for flying branch, we got. Uh, short service commission 77 vacancies are there in that ground duty technical post for aeronautical engineering electrical there are 76 posts for aeronautical engineering mechanical there are 27 posts for ground duty non technical uh, include for admin there are 41 for accounts there are 17 for logistics there are 31 coming to ncc special entry flying branch uh, 10% of the cds cdsc vacancies for permanent commission And ten percent seats out of AFCAT vacancies for SSC. Like that, they will be filling the vacancies. Now, coming to another disclaimer is that two seats are reserved from ground duty non-tech. So, what are the ground duty non-tech posts are there? From that, two seats will be given to law qualified ca candidates, LLB, LLM, like that. Now, there are some kinds of commissions. Two types of commissions are there: permanent commission that is that is coded as PC here. So, permanent commission for men. The candidates joining as PC officers, permanent commission officers, would continue to serve till the age of superannuation, as per their branch and rank. Now, this is for a permanent commission for men. For short service commission is both for men and women also. So, their engagement for flying branch in short short service commission is 14 years from the date of commissioning, and which is non-extendable. In that non-extendable. Uh, tenure of 14 years also the initial tenure for ssc officers in ground duty technical and non technical first the initial period would be of 10 years and an extension of 4 years in a, for ssc officers in ground duty that that's what i am telling for extension of 4 years will be given to you subject to the requirements and eligibility etc etc now coming to the age limit flying branch for flying branch 20 to 24 years that means the candidate must be born uh, Uh, from uh, in between first january uh, as on as on uh, first the cut off date for the age limit is first january 2023 if they see if they check uh, as on first january 2023 the age qualifications are like this they should be born between second january 1999 and and first january 2003 inclusive both the dates inclusive so the upper age limit for the candidates holding valid and current commercial pilot license will have some extension Now coming to ground duty technical and non technical branches the age limit is from 20 to 26 years as on 1st january 2023 that is the cut off date that means they should be born in between 2nd january 97 to 1st january 2003 both dates inclusive now all the detailed notification if you, this is a short notification if you want to see the detailed notification you can visit careerindianairforce.cdac.in or afcad.cdac.in candidates have to ensure that they have understood all the details so clearly you have to go through the detailed notification which is given in the website and then you have to follow up now there are uh, training some training activity they are telling so all the training activity will be commenced at air force academy dundigal hyderabad okay that is in the state of telangana the duration of the flying and uh, ground duty technical branches is for 74 weeks the the duration of the training is for 74 weeks for both uh, flying and ground duty technical branches this is for and for ground duty non technical it is somewhat less and it is only 52 weeks at air force training establishments so at the time of the joining you must have a pan card permanent account number which is given by income tax department and uh, uh, you should have an account in state bank of india or any nationalized bank preferably they are telling in a, in sbi 
he is mandatory at the time of joining air force academy so if you are if you are qualified for the training if you are selected for the training you should have a pan card and you should also have a uh, account in sbi or any nationalized bank now what is the payment that what is the uh, package that sbi is offering you sorry uh, afcat is offering you uh, through the uh, which will be deposited in your account which is in sbi or any nationalized bank for flying officer the start the starting salary will be 56100 and it can go up to 177500 level 10 pay this is okay so now apart from this apart from this 56100 to 177500 whatever the pay matrix you belong to apart from this you will be given so many allowances also in addition to pay that pay plus this pay plus allowances are applic applicable based on the nature of the duty place of posting that means if you are posted in some border areas like siachen etc includes flying technical field area special compensatory hill area special forces siachen island special duty like uh, andaman and nicobar and lakshadweep test pilot flight test engineer area and remote locality allowances rla etc etc based on the nature of the duty you will be given some allowances now coming here coming to the next uh, thing important instructions eligible candidates are to register online you have to register through online and separate tabs are available for afcat entry and ncc special entry and meteorology entry so there are three special spe separate tabs so that you can apply you can go to whatever you can click on the whatever tab you are interested and then you can apply so separate tabs are given for afcat entry and also for ncc special entry and for meteorology entry candidates eligible for one or more entries are are to registered separately in each entry okay now clearly they are telling tat tattoos and narcotics so having except from on the forearm and uh, some um, very less number of areas non visible part basically almost they are telling that tattoos are not allowed and also you should not be using any narcotics drugs etc okay so they are banned completely banned use and possession of narcotics is completely banned now completely online test you know that the conduct of online test afcat is completely online uh, exam so fee structure is something like this online testing will be conducted for afcat at various centers candidates registering for afcat will have to pay 250 rupees which is non refundable fee as an examination fee however candidates registering for ncc special entry so however candidates who are applying for this is 250 is the non refundable fee but candidates who are applying for ncc special entry they they need not uh, pay anything this is absolutely free now coming to marital status candidates below 25 years of age must be unmarried at the time of commencement of the course so and uh, anyway widows and widowers and divorcees with or without encumbrances below 25 years age are also not eligible so if you are below 25 you should be unmarried and if you are 25 and if, then also if you are 25 along with that if you are having if any widows widowers divorcees like that they are also not eligible completely unmarried below 25 means they should be unmarried okay so candidate should have a registered email id a working and active email id should be there and mobile phone also should be there because throughout the selection procedure throughout this procedure all the communication will be sent to your email id and mobile phone only no postal correspondence will be there okay so so you should have a valid and active working email id and mobile number and the travel allowance will be given to those candidates in ac th uh, uh, third class uh, three tier three tier ac and ac chair car whatever shortest route available if you are uh, applying for the first time from the for the second time they will not uh, give you any travel allowance if the, if you are coming if you are applying for the first time then only these kind of allowances will be given to you for second from the second time this kind of if you are not selected and then again you are applying for second time to afcat at that time it will not be given to you okay uh, now physical condition you should be physically fit because you should aim to achieve an ability to to run 1 mile 1 mile means 1 uh, mile means 1.6 kilometers in 10 minutes you should be able to run 1 mile in 10 minutes that is quite challenging and you have to do 10 push ups and 3 chin ups so this is the physical activity that you are going to have at uh, afcat selection so you should be ready to do this whenever you are asked to in the in the selection procedure so if you are having any queries uh, regarding the conduct of online examination 
you can directly contact the numbers 020-255-03105 or another number is also given extension number 06 or you can email to afcatcell at cdac.in for queries regarding eligibility, allotment of AFSB centers, date of AFSB, AFSB interview, merit list and joining instructions. So after, after queries regarding eligibility allotment, so when the interview will be there and where to join, where to report etc. If you want to go for this number, if you want to go for these details, another number is given to you 011-230-10231 and an extension toll free number is also given that is 1800-112448. So these are the important informations that has give, that has been given in the short notification. For full notification, you can go through this website. You can go to this web, the, any of these websites, careerindianaforce.cdac.in or afcat.cdoc.in. So again, I am telling the starting date is uh, here. Clearly, it is given here. The applications will be opening on 1st December 2021 and they will close on 30th December 2021. I hope these are some highlights, these are some important points that I wanted to tell you. I request you to download the full notification. If possibility is there, take a printout of, print out of it. Go through it thoroughly. If you are interested and eligible, don't miss this opportunity. All the best.